Hey everybody, Brian Hunt here again for another Tuesday tutorial. And in this video, we're gonna be talking to you about how long your video should be. Okay, so I know in last week's video, we talked to you guys about this week's video and we're gonna be talking about a video editing software, a free online video software. We've been doing some more tests with that. So we thought I would do another very important video on a very important topic that's always changing it's it's in the world of video and online marketing is always changing there's different things there's different new social media platforms and the way that the platforms perform their algorithms they use and the different ads that they have available are always changing plus the way people use their devices and the way that they're consuming this information is always changing I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about video lengths and the ideal video lengths. Okay, so we're gonna start with a traditional broadcast spot, a commercial spot, something you would see on CTV, on CBC. Traditionally, uh, commercial spots are 30 seconds and then there are hard 30 seconds. It can't be 31, can't be 30 seconds and one frame or it can't be 20, nine seconds, they have to be 30 seconds, it's very strict. We are doing less and less broadcast commercials. We still do them, they're still valuable in uh, certain applications, but really online video ads and online video is what everybody knows is really the big thing and the number one tool for using for advertising online and the number one tool for just advertising in general. So what are the other optimal lengths of videos when you're using on different platforms because they all are a little bit different. So Facebook ads, Facebook ads, we've talked about a bunch in the past. Facebook ads are probably one of the most powerful ways to use video to advertise. How you can do all different things by targeting people with it is amazing. But video ads, the ideal video ad is between five and 15 seconds and ideally with no audio, okay? Just using text to get the message to get across because as we talked about in past videos, 90% of people on Facebook are viewing their video content and ads with no sound on. So if it's using sound to get your message across, it's not working and very short, five to 15 seconds. It's all you need. So that gives you a little bit to think about when you're working on something and creating a Facebook ad. Now on Instagram, so Instagram, you can just be having an Instagram post where you can have up to 60 seconds. In your Instagram story, each uh, element of your story can be 15 seconds. If you're creating an ad for to be used within Instagram stories, it needs to be under 15 seconds. 10 seconds can be even a little bit more ideal. Ads for on Instagram itself, I would keep those to under 30 seconds. Those are the numbers coming out. Those ones are the ones that are performing the best if you're using it as an ad on Instagram. Now we get to YouTube and YouTube is a little bit different and it's interesting because YouTube is used as a little bit different of a platform. People are starting to watch more and more long content stuff on there. They're watching videos like this, longer videos are explaining things, informational videos, longer series of things, longer vlogs. So the numbers on YouTube for video lengths vary quite a bit depending on what you're doing. So if you're creating a YouTube uh, pre-roll ad, those ads, those videos you see before the video starts, then short is what you wanna have. Again, five to 15 seconds is ideal on those ones. People can skip the message within five seconds. So if you don't have getting what you wanna get across and have some interest in somebody within that first five seconds, you're kind of losing out there. So very quick for those. But if you're making content and content you just wanna have on uh, YouTube as to build up your channel, to build up your awareness of your brand or your organization, then having longer videos is not a problem. Actually, the stats coming out from that is longer sometimes does better. Getting up there six, 10 minutes is not a bad thing on YouTube. So again, it gives you different ways to think about when you're creating content or you're making one video project, what your end deliverables are gonna be from that project to use in different spots, to use on YouTube, to use on Instagram. How are you gonna use it on Facebook? Is your Facebook ad gonna to point to your page where you're gonna have the YouTube video embedded? Now, a lot of times from our partners we're working with the, with the RTO7 partnership program, they're also looking to use that video content, that same video content we're shooting for Instagram ads and for Facebook ads and for YouTube. They're also looking to take that and use it for a trade show. Maybe they're setting up at a trade show, they're gonna have a booth and they wanna have uh, a video playing in the background to kind of show off their resort, their location, their store, their business, whatever it is. Having something that's gonna play longer, a longer loop at a trade show with a lot of 
you know, drawn out beautiful shots. Maybe you're using one shot that's a, a drone shot over the property for 10, 15 seconds of one just shot that way. Now that would not work for an Instagram ad, but it does work in a trade show. So having say a five minute loop that's gonna be keep going over will work very well in a trade show situation. I would also highly recommend if you're creating that video and using that video for a trade show that it works without any audio also. One of the main reasons is if you're working a booth for a couple of days and you're there for 10 hour, 12 hour days, you do not wanna be hearing the exact same audio going over and over again, it's gonna drive you crazy. But you can get that message across as well by having text and having that information come on screen. Now also, if you're having a conversation with a client or a possible customer there at the trade show, you don't want the audio from behind you bleeding into that and causing interruption. There's already so much noise on the floor at most trade shows that you don't wanna have that extra noise uh, created by your own booth. So that's why I would recommend making sure the video works without audio. So again, these are just some best practices on what to think about when you're working on a video project. If you're working with us on a partnership program, we can talk about where your end place you wanna use a video. Do you wanna use it on Facebook? Do you wanna use it on Instagram? Do you wanna use it on YouTube? Do you wanna use it on broadcast? And do you wanna use a trade show? And sometimes the answer is all of the above. We wanna create the video to work on all the above. So it's creating different assets, but creating it from the same video project. And it's something that's very possible and stuff we do all the time, but it's something for yourself to also think about when you're creating your own content is how can we use these on multiple different platforms that we wanna to use to capture our audience and our new customers. Thanks so much guys. We'll see you on the next Tuesday tutorial where I promise we will get into the free editing software where you can help to cut down your own videos and show you how that's working. We'll see you then.